Former Vice President Mike Pence is criticizing the Justice Department's handling of the documents marked classified that were found at the former office of President Biden. The Indiana Republican lambasted officials' response as a representative of a, quote, double standard in comparing it to what happened in Mar-a-Lago and President Trump's uh, classified documents. The former vice president spoke with our own Robert Costa Tuesday and described the separate documents' cases linked to Biden and Trump as, quote, different in degree, but not in kind. When the American people see President Biden receiving one form of treatment with the discovery of classified documents that were retained after he left the office of the vice president, and they see President Trump treated in an entirely different way. Again, the handling of classified material is a very serious issue for our nation, and we ought to take it seriously. But there ought to be equal treatment under the law. You'll see more of that interview tonight on Red and Blue. Attorney General Merrick Garland assigned a U.S. attorney to review materials found by uh, the current president's personal lawyers and turned over to the National Archives. He appointed a special counsel to investigate the documents the FBI seized from former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Joining us now is CBS News political director Finn Gomez. So, Finn, we hear the vice, hey the former vice president yeah. saying yeah. the Justice Department is treating Biden and Trump unequally. He says um, it is a, a serious issue for our, our nation, but there needs to be equal treatment under the law. Uh, is his criticism fair? I, I think a lot of Republicans think it's fair. I mean, uh, Republic, Republicans, including former Vice President Pence, uh, have pounced on these new revelations, first reported by CBS News, concerning these classified documents discovered at this Biden think tank. Uh, uh, Pence is echoing what we have heard from the House Republicans these past few days. Uh, he's saying that there should not be this, uh, quote, double standard, standard between the DOJ and how they handled the, these Biden classified documents and how they handled, of course, former President Trump's mar a lago residents uh, investigation in Florida, uh, even though they may differ in terms of scope and context. Uh, as you mentioned, the, the, the former vice president said they're different in degree, but not in, not in kind. And I think that uh, I think it, what, what it does give, it gives a political opening for Republicans. It allows former, the former president to counter and try to place both of these cases on equal platform. Uh, you know, a lot of people think that's apples, apples and oranges, of, oranges, of course. Uh, the Democrats that I've spoken to today say, that there is a real difference here. In Biden's case, the documents have been handed over willingly and weren't discovered at a private residence, unlike President Trump's case, which is a clear distinction. You know, it was interesting because around this time yesterday, we spoke with Republican Congressman Darrell Issa of California, who right. said that at the very least, on, in both situations, there needs to be more transparency. There needs to be someone at the executive level in charge of kind of the document procurement or movement procedure that doesn't exist right now. So there does appear to be an agreement that improvements need to be made. But considering how... Right. Talk to us about how the current president is responding to this, though, because it does open up a political issue for him um, as, we, as Republicans take over the House and as they decide what they want to investigate. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, Errol. I think it, it does open up this political vulnerability for the president. Uh, he did say yesterday, yesterday in Mexico City, he's there for those high-level meetings, uh, that his lawyers uh, did what they should have, which is they, when they found the classified documents, they turned them over to the archives. Uh, Biden said he was, uh, quote, surprised to learn the, uh, about the classified materials at the Penn Biden Center and, and said he doesn't know what's in the, in the papers. Is it problematic politically? Uh, well, you know, uh, for one, uh, the story uh, was the biggest headline out of Mexico City overtaking this this meeting with the leaders of, of Mexico and Canada. And of course, uh, now the House Oversight Committee, now led by Republicans, announced that they will be investigating uh, this case. And, and according to our own CBS reporting, uh, you know, the president was told about these documents discovered on November 2nd, uh, just before the midterms, Errol. And I think it does raise some questions as to why the president did not divulge this, pre this before, uh, before the Terms and it gives more fodder to Republican attacks. Uh, it, it allows for a political opening for Republicans to go after the administration. Look, it's a little early. I, I think the question remains if it does leave a mark politically. Uh, but Re Republicans seem intent to, to, to leave that mark, though. Well, tell us, Finn, what else uh, is going on in today's Red and Blue show?
It's going to be a great show. I, I mean, obviously, there'll be more uh, from this Pence interview uh, than Robert Costa had yesterday with this potential 2024 uh, White House aspirant. Um, he didn't say on, on the 24 front that he'll, he'll be making his decision anytime soon. He doesn't feel pressed to. Uh, but in the coming months ahead, he said he's going to be listening to the American people and, and make a decision. And I think that uh, I think that it, there's this sense of he doesn't have the sense of urgency about formally jumping into this, into the fray uh, with Trump, who's the only other declared, the only declared candidate on in this uh, Republican field right now. Uh, but he's, you know, he's focused on uh, bolstering long ties with evangelical voters. There's uh, key voting blocks in Iowa and South Carolina. He's got this big mega church uh, uh, tour coming up that plays into that. Uh, but all of this, including 2024, including um, including the, the Biden document story, uh, will be coming up uh, during Red and Blue tonight, and I'll be watching for sure. Sure. You'll be sure. watching. We'll be watching. And, you know, last week when Bob Costa was uh, interviewing Republicans on Capitol Hill during the vote, he was grilling them and following up with a come on. I want to get an answer <laughs> out of you. So I'm no, hoping to hear yeah, a come exactly. on out of Bob Costa exactly. tonight. Hey, uh, can I just say, and just just come on, look at look at this. This is my Errol. Uh, oh, Fox look at these sharp gentlemen. Aren't I lucky like to hang out with you guys? That. Right here. <laughs> well done. Open invitation to come back anytime. Great to see you. Thank you, sir. And a quick reminder, you can stream Red and Blue on CBS News from Mondays to Thursdays at 5, 6 and 9 p.m. Eastern.